Hey guys, I've been making um, this game over time. I don't know if you guys have known or not, but um, it's this. I haven't actually titled it yet, but um, it's actually running a little slow right now because I'm making the video. But it usually runs at, I have it capped out at 60 frames per second. Um, and um, it's a kind of like a little game that I've been working on. Or Well, right now it's just a menu screen. But it's a game that I'm working on um, slowly, and uh, it's basically going to be kind of like a Call of Duty-ish type thing, but it's going to be two-dimensional, and I'm going to have a really long campaign. Like, I'm going to try to make a, I don't know, a really long campaign, I guess. Um, my friend and I have been coming up with lots of ideas, and I've been slowly working on it over time. Um, when I get the full, like, all the details of the uh, campaign worked out, I'll start working on it more. The first level is just going to be a cutscene of your helicopter, and basically the general outline is you're going to get shot down um, on your way to some objective trying to take something uh, that you need, or the United States Army needs, and you're going to be shot down somewhere in like Afghanistan or something, and you crash, and you're going to have one teammate left, and he's going to kind of help you a little bit through it. Now, I haven't decided what the outcome of that person is going to be, um, so I'm still kind of debating certain things, and basically you'll have a choice. There's going to be two different campaigns, or well, two different choices that you can do. Um, and the first one is if you keep going west, which is in this direction, uh, you'll go back and you'll go to your allies, uh, which is France, and they'll reassign you to another mission, um, which will be near Russia, uh, my friend is kind of wanting to take that over because he likes Russia and he wants to come up with this awesome campaign for that. And then the other one is going to just be finish your campaign and you're going to have lots of, or not your campaign, but like finish the objective that you're trying to go to on foot with your teammate. And that I haven't really worked out all the details with yet. I don't even know what the objective is yet. I just, it's very, very general right now. Um, and I've been working on an event editor. Now the naming the file it has to be test.txt. Um, it won't do anything otherwise. And oh, that's actually Bobby. He's the one who wants to do all of the Russian part of the campaign. And either way, no matter which one you choose, you will do the other one eventually. Like when you're done with that other one. So there's actually like two different main objectives of the campaign. And once you finish one, you'll have to start the other one. Let me show you what the event editor does. I've been working on this all day today, and I finally got it finished and working correctly. So, what type of event will it be? I want it to be a rotation. Um, what frame do I want to happen on the very first one? What entity? The plane, which is zero. And then what rotation will it be? I want it to be going straight up, so negative 90, not 91. 90, and that has to be a float, which I could just put 90, but 90.0, it's better. Um, and then it'll just ask you what event do I want it to be. So then I'll make new bullets. And what frame do I want it to happen on? 100, 100th frame, the X position, the middle of the screen, get rid of that period. It's the Y position of the new bullet, uh, 600, the very bottom of the screen, and the rotation of the new bullet, negative 90. So that's straight up. And then what event? I'll do another bullet. Frame 100, same frame. Position, let's do 300. Y position 600 still, negative 90 is the rotation. And then let's rotate the plane, which, oh, what type of event will it be? Yeah, zero frame go on to happen on 150. And what entity will I be rotating? The plane is the only entity I have at the moment because the first mission is only going to be bullets in your airplane getting shot down. And what rotation will it be? Let's just rotate it in the exact opposite. So positive 90. And then when I'm done, I'll type in 99. Oh, and then I, there was a glitch in my code that asked me what frame I wanted to happen on. And then you just type in whatever you want, because it, it just completely ignores it. It tells me I have four events that I made. I close out of that. And it all gets saved in this little file right here. Like this. It, tell, it says there's four events. Puts that right there, and then it puts all the information I put on the other one. But I got tired of putting all that out individually, and I figured it'd be easier if I wrote my own event editor for it. So I did. And I haven't actually even named the game yet. Um, so 29, 32, 43, play. And it doesn't matter whether you choose new or load, because I haven't had a load campaign yet, because I haven't even started the campaign. So every time you have to click new, 
See, it instantly puts you straight up, it makes two new bullets, and then flips you right back. Um, okay, so when it's not rotating, or when it's not rendering those big backgrounds, it's pretty nice frames per second. This is all debugging stuff that I have. Um, and this is just kind of what it is at the moment. Um, starting right now, I'm slowly going to be starting to actually make the campaign. Um, probably going to start on the first level. The first level is just going to be a full cinematic. Um, you're just going to get shot down from something. I don't even know the details of that yet. And wait, why did he go back to normal orientation? I don't know, whatever. Um, you'll be shot down, I don't know by what yet, and then you're going to crash land, everyone's going to be dead except you, and then that one guy. And it's actually going to teach you how to play. That guy's going to teach you how to play, and he's going to be like, huh, you hit your head pretty hard there. And then it's going to be like, do you still know how to walk? And then it'll tell you how to walk. And then it'll just kind of do that like a normal, stereotypical game would. Because I do want people to know how to play my game, I guess. Um... And then it's just going to go on from there, and you'll have different choices and different stuff you'll have to do. And I'm hoping to make it really awesome, do really cool stuff with it. Uh, I don't know if anyone's really interested in it. That's why I'm going to kind of start putting up videos of it. And if people, it starts gathering people's attention, then I'll make it even better, hopefully. Um, and ignore my really bad pictures. Um, my friend Chris, um, his YouTube account is sharped edge oh also the bullets they're sorry I'm ADHD um, they're randomly put on there um, I'm not actually ADHD that just caught my attention um, he he made the backgrounds uh, he didn't make them so they tile very well he just made them and then I made it tile again um, and I made the airplane just because I threw it together in like a tenth of a second just so I can get something to work with, so I can start programming, because I am most definitely a programmer, not an artist. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's about it. I'll kind of start making more videos as I can get my game further along. Um, so that's it, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of my games and stuff that I make, or if you look over and see that I'm making some Roblox scripting tutorials, um, if you want to watch those and you like those, then please subscribe. Um, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.